Hey guys, it's Lane Blake from Refine Horizons, and this is another video in the set of videos that I'm doing to show you how to clean up a land tile survey. <clears throat> and in the, in the first two or three videos, we just basically kind of worked on setting up the shear. Uh, I've got a little more cleanup to do on that, uh, but we're gonna, we'll get to that in another video. So what I wanted to do is uh, work on the notes here. Um, and so we, we kind of have this set up with bars. So we've got this horizontal bar on the bottom. We got this bar on the top here, and then we've got this bar on the side. We call those bands. Okay, and uh, typically they don't change, right? So on most of our land title surveys, this band stays the same. <clears throat> but uh, I've got a problem here, <laughs> which is we, for this particular survey, we have a really long land description. And so we usually... We usually put that on the front page. It's where we like to have it. Um, so we do two things. We have the, the actual land description, and then we have just my surveyor notes on the land description. If there's any issues on it. Um, and uh, then if it'll fit, we put our table A and our easement notes. And, um, and then we have some adjoiner notes and monument notes. We, we just we have a standard set of notes. Uh, they're not going to, the, the vesting deed notes are not going to fit on the sheet. So uh, what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to pull these off to the side here okay because I know they're not going to fit and then we got to figure out what notes will fit here in this top horizontal band and in this, this side band here uh, we got to figure out which notes will fit <clears throat> but before we do that I want to go ahead and get my vesting land description uh, plopped in so uh, we've got our notes here I always give the the title officer and the lender uh, some notes on the exceptions so those are done and they're in, um, but we've got plenty of room on this note sheet, and we do typically have at least one note sheet on our altas. But um, I want I want to get my vesting deed here on the on the front left side because uh, I think that's you know the most important piece of information. So what we're going to do is we're going to move these over. You can see we've got this nice layout grid set up, um, and we do this for all of our maps. So I'm going to move those over there. And then uh, we're going to come in and steal these. Okay, and uh, then we're going to move, move these into place and get them edited. Okay, and this is something we do on every land title survey is, uh, is we put in these. Uh, we put in the, the vesting land description and the, the surveyor notes on that. It's just, it just won't fit on the front sheet. <clears throat> okay, so I've got my notes here. And I'm actually going to... So we're going to come down here. So the last one we did was actually for a lease parcel. And this is for the... We don't have a lease parcel, so we actually have the, the subject parcel. So I'm going to just change that header. Okay, and then we're going uh, to drop this text in here. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Um, here's my legal. Um, so you can tell it's it is a monster, right? So we gotta we gotta find a way to fit that. That's why we move we're moving it to this separate sheet. So I've got that copy here. Let's uh, let's see if we can get that in our sheet. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and edit this text. And I know it's not gonna all fit in this column. That's okay. <clears throat> okay, just to kind of to make this easier, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm gonna move my, I usually put my notes first, but I'm going to go ahead and move them just because I think it's going to work better for this particular survey. Okay, so then we're going to move this up. <clears throat> And then we gotta we gotta break it into two columns. Okay, so to do that, I just go down and figure out all right, where do I want this to end? I want it to end right here. And just to make things easy, um, it's it's nice if you can come up and yeah, this is gonna be hard. 
um, it's nice to break it at an even at an even spot but uh, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to do that so we're just gonna come in here and I'm gonna break it right here So I should have that copied now, that text copied, and I can copy this column here and just move it over. Okay, so we're going to move it over here, then we'll edit this text. And we'll paste in what was left from the other side, okay, and it still isn't, it isn't going to fit. <laughs> <laughs> so gotta, we got to move this over. Actually, I think I, I'll probably move this down. So uh, we'll, we're just going to put this down here for now. All right, then we'll copy this column over one more. Okay, we got to do the same thing. We got to come down and see where this is going to break. So it's going to break right here. Okay. <clears throat> so then we'll edit this column. Okay, so there's my vesting legal. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to change this from a two column. Uh, my notes are going to go from two column to one column so we can fit them in here. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to delete that and we're going to trim this underline. Okay. So I'll put my notes here, and there, there's going to be quite a few because it's a jacked up legal description, land description, and then we're going to go ahead and extend this underline over here and make it three columns. Okay, so I think we're about done with that, so let's just see what that looks like, guys. So we're going to um, turn off these uh, text layout lines in our layout grid. Okay, so there you go. There's the vesting land description. And um, I just want to double check here. We got parcel one, parcel two, parcel three, and then we should have a parcel four in here. And I want a hard line break on that. Okay, so that might push me down one line down too far. Uh, let's see. Nope. I'm okay. I can live with that. It's above this red line, so that's fine. I'm not going to change everything for that. Okay. Actually, I am. I am because I'm main over retentive. So I'm going to just cut, cut this last line out here and add it up here. <clears throat> okay. Which means this has got to get pushed down now. <clears throat> Okay, and I'll do another video where we walk through the notes on this land, this jacked up land description we got, because I think that would be a good separate video. <clears throat> okay, so we, we basically moved the, the vesting land description and the notes on the land description, which aren't written yet, to this sheet four. Okay, so what that's going to do is that's going to free up some room on sheet one. All right, so now I can get rid of these. And um, I think I can fit my table A notes in my my exception notes, these are actually now on sheet four, but I can fit my table A item notes and some other some of my other standard notes now on this sheet. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go ahead and move the table A item notes up.
Okay, and then let's see how that looks. Okay, I got them off a row, I can see. Not a row, I got them off a column, sorry. Okay. And we've got this standard node on our UAV photography that will move up. And actually it looks like it got off center. Whoop. There we go. It looks like it got off center a little bit. Okay, so this is starting to look better. Um, I probably won't leave the adjoiner notes here because they're going to be extensive. They'll probably have to go to this back sheet too, so let's do that. Uh, I lost my menu bar. I'm just going to float them over here for now. Okay. All right, so so I got to decide what I what I might have room for over here. Um, I probably will have room for I might have room for the uh, joiner notes and the monument notes here. We'll see. Um, since this is a, a smaller note, it, it'll fit good in that vertical band. So I'm going to move it over here on the vertical band. Um, oop, I got it off one, one column again. And I didn't get my underline. That's why this layout grid is so nice. It, it makes this moving this text really easy. Okay, so these are the actual uh, Table A items. Nope, they're not, so I need to replace these Table A items too. Okay, so uh, we'll, I don't know if I'm going to do another video on that, but we'll, we'll get the Table A item notes in here. Uh, we'll get the Monument notes in here. If we have room, we'll put the Adjoiner notes. Okay, and then we got a little bit, of, uh, we've got one or two other things just to clean up on this map view. All right?